Hey, it's Dan. Welcome back. You're watching I Allegedly. And uh, I am in Newport Beach, California today. I'm at the Balboa Pier. Walk on the pier. Say hi to my bird friend. Just hanging out. Um, there's so much to talk about right now. A couple really good stories to tell you as well. Um, the chaos that will be Black Friday will show you how retail is going to change uh, between now and the end of the year and for 2022. It will be an absolute mess. Now, just had a full morning already. That's just unbelievable and I can't wait to tell you all about it. But uh, uh, before I get into it, please take a second. Please hit the like button. Uh, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, please share this with uh, all your friends and colleagues as well. Don't forget to join the email list, which is in the video description below. Uh, First things first, a friend of mine had to have dental surgery. And a month ago, she said, hey, do you mind driving me that day? Sure, so today was the day. So she has dental surgery. We have to drive to a city, Anaheim, California. It's where the angels play. It's a big city. Anyways, within a block, two blocks, of the doctor's office for the surgery was a homeless encampment at a park and just looked completely sketchy, like anything I haven't seen in a long time, like an LA type homeless setup. And it was really shocking to see this so close to the doctor's office. Well, that led to me dropping her off, getting her set up and starting to return phone calls and everything. And I had a subscriber call me out of Riverside County, California. It's the county right next to Orange County. Anyways, he goes into Office Max today to start looking for a printer, a brother printer, and the supplies for the brother printer. Gets to talking to the manager, and the manager starts to tell him that there is, he has none of the merchandise for Black Friday. They don't have it hidden in the back. They don't have any of the merchandise right now that they're supposed to have for Black Friday. And in fact, they have a meeting, he said, on Monday at the Office Max, where they're gonna find out if they're gonna have the Black Friday merchandise. Huh? Okay, so needless to say, there's a problem there if you don't have the Black Friday merchandise at your store. But it led to a bigger problem in talking to this guy. And he loves a brother printer, which is no big deal. But here's something that's unbelievable that's happening with these printers right now. People are so concerned about the supply chain for their business and for getting print cartridges. And let's face it, that's always been the big rip off with buying a printer. You buy the printer, it's cheap. But then the cartridges, whether it's a laser printer, it's the inkjet, whatever, are always expensive. And, you know, oh, you want the better cartridge? It gets, you know, more print. Anyways, people are going out and stockpiling the brother printers right now because they have what they call a year's supply of ink in it. And you can buy this thing for just, you know, $110 or whatever it is right now on sale. And they don't buy the cartridges. You can't get the cartridges. So that being said, he was like, hey, if you're ever near a Staples, you're ever near any of these places, let me know. And uh, I'd love to have you pick one up for me because he's going to stockpile the actual printer, not the cartridges, the actual printer. I'm on the pier, guys, and you've got the fishermen coming out to fish, but crazy, okay? Now, here's the other thing. He goes to talk to the manager about the print cartridges and selective merchandise is now protected right now. Okay, what does that mean? It means that things get stolen and we don't want people to rip us off and steal the ink cartridges so we have to protect them. In fact, we're going to go towards more protective merchandise to where uh, Office uh, Depot may not have ink cartridges in the store soon because they got stolen so much. The manager proceeds to tell him that they cannot chase people uh, when it comes to crime. Cannot go after them. If somebody steals something, we just have to let them do it. That is insane, guys. That's this is this is utter chaos that we've come to. Now I don't know if this is a California wackadoo thing because of the state that I live in, but this is absolute lunacy that you can let people walk in, grab merchandise, stick it in their pockets, and leave. So that's what's happening right now. Now it gets better. Person I'm with gets done with her dental surgery, we get to talk and she's like, yeah, I'd like to go look at that printer. What do you think? We go to Staples, what do you think on the way back to my house? 
So we swing by Staples and uh, we get to talking with the people at Staples and uh, they had one of the printers there. So she gets the printer, great. She also tells me about, uh, they told us about another Staples that was on the way to her house that had this merchandise. And again, we start talking about theft. Oh yeah, theft is such a huge problem in the store. We cannot stop anybody. They just take merchandise and steal. I don't know what we're gonna do. I'm like, well, what, what is happening in this world that we're allowing this? But do you guys have the Black Friday merchandise? We have none of the Black Friday merchandise yet in our location. We got some chairs in, but those aren't really big sellers. Well, needless to say, guys, I don't go to, to Staples to buy chairs. And I don't know if you guys do that as well. So this is the rubies at the end of the pier. You can get hamburgers and stuff like that and have that be your view. So it's kind of a nice place. The, uh, the roof area they used to have open. I don't know if they do anymore. It looks like all the furniture has been pulled off the roof. So it was great because you just have you know, a view to Catalina when, they, when it's clear out. So needless to say, the theft is a huge problem. Black Friday is a huge problem. Black Friday, they don't know if they're gonna have the merchandise. Absolutely crazy. So we end up going to another Staples to pick up other merchandise. And uh, we go to the other Staples and uh, this Staples was really secure. It was on the corner on the, uh, it was surrounding uh, uh, areas where uh, Costa Mesa and Santa Ana. So very, just right, right in the corner of these two cities. Anyways, everything in the store seemed like it had one of those little security dial things that told you, uh, you know, like if you moved it out of the store, nah, nah, nah. They installed those on so much merchandise that when you walk through the store, things go off all the time. And I'm like, wow, you guys must have a real problem with crime and theft. And well, yeah, we do, but we've tried to do everything we can to eliminate that. And by doing this, it's helped quite a bit. And, uh, so, do you guys have the Black Friday merchandise? No, we don't. Do you think you're gonna get it? We have no idea. We're gonna hear Monday or Tuesday to hear if they're gonna get the Black Friday merchandise in that store. And, uh, you know, we'd start talking about crime and they can't chase after anybody, but she told us the most wild story about next door in uh, uh, the CVS store. And that was this. Two days ago, okay, person goes into the CVS store and steals a cash register, okay? This guy comes out, he was clearly, she said, he was crazy. Well, no kidding, he was crazy. So the crazy guy comes out, tries to carjack a car with a woman in it, and she fights him off, okay? Holding the cash register. Goes to another car, rips the woman out of the car, that was driving up, stops her, rips her out of the car, and drives off with the cash register. Okay? So, you guys, you can't make this stuff up. Now, I, I don't know what you do with the cash register. I don't know if you just break it open for the cash box. Clearly, that's what the crazy guy did. But, again, guys, as we were in that, that uh, store, it was incredibly sketchy, to say the least. Okay? I'm sure you've been to areas where you say, well, this doesn't seem that safe. That's what this was. But as I looked over, diagonally away from me is South Coast Plaza, which is one of the nicest shopping centers on the planet Earth and uh, incredibly unbelievable. That being said, that's what they had happened there just a couple days ago. Now, again, guys, with the holidays, with how desperate people are getting, please be safe. Please as, as it gets darker earlier, use situational awareness. Think about how bad it is. Think about when you go out, when you go to the ATM, the people hanging out there asking for money in front of the ATM, the sketchy people. You know, I'm in Newport Beach and there's, there's homeless people hanging out and asking everybody for stuff. You've got to be careful when you're out at night, when you're alone. If you can take somebody with you, even that's a deterrent right now. But be safe and look at everything you do and where you're putting yourself in potential danger and, and do what you can do not to be in these situations because as you hear this stuff and as we hear about the economy doing good, not doing good, whether you believe it or not, okay, I'm the latter that I think that we have real problems, okay? But people are getting more and more desperate. And the thing that floors me is 
why don't you guys have more security around here? Why don't you have a, a security guard? Get somebody strapped in there because if you do that, um, it's it, it deters people from stealing. That's what I think. Anyways, just be careful. Be safe. Do not put yourself in a situation where you could be a potential victim by burying your face in a phone, by by not being safe or being on the phone when you go up to the ATM and things like that because trouble can happen in seconds, okay? And you have to be safe right now. It's very, very dangerous right now. And uh, all this stuff leads to more and more trouble right now, to say the least. Share your thoughts on all this stuff, guys, as I go through some of the national news. But all this crime, all the lack of lack of stopping crime, that's a thing that floors me. And maybe that's a California wackadoo, we're insane type of thing. Maybe that's it, okay? I don't know, okay? But let me know, guys. I really want to know what you guys think about all this stuff. This is nice. This is uh, kids groups get together. They clean up the beach, pick up the trash. It's nice, okay? Hanging out with their friends and wreaking havoc and being being youngsters. The next thing is the uh, uh, unemployment numbers came in. The new unemployment numbers for last week came in. And we're supposed to celebrate the fact that there were 267,000 people that uh, uh, filed first-time unemployment claims. Big deal, no big deal, you know, you, you make the call on that. But here's what the big problem is. And if you turn on the news media, it's a great number. It's so good. No, it's not. We had 531,000 jobs added last month. And we're averaging over 250,000 a week. You don't even need a calculator for this one, guys, because we are losing net jobs right now. And if you don't think that's the case, you are delusional, okay? And, uh, oh, people just don't wanna work. People are retiring. Something is seriously broken right now, guys. And uh, not everybody's financially independent. Uh, I know a lot of people that make a lot of money that don't have bills that still work, guys. I, I just, uh, I could introduce you to a bunch of them. <sighs> Needless to say, not everybody's retired sitting on a beach like this, okay? It's just not happening, okay? In fact, nobody's sitting on the beach right now because it's kind of cold out here right now. But, <sighs> share your thoughts on this, guys. Went into a Panera Bread today because they had the special for the grilled cheese and the tomato soup. Mmm, that looked good. Uh, so, I've never seen this. Hi, how are you? Um, just wanna let you know we're hiring guys. Oh, that's great, thank you, okay. So it's getting to the cash register now, guys. The ads for employment are at the cash register right now. So, hey, if you know of anybody, you know, we can do an interview right away, let them know, okay? So. Panera has good internet too, guys. I like Panera, anyways. Um, share your thoughts on all this stuff, guys. But the net jobs, the net unemployment, the shenanigans of, it's great, it's such a good number, the economy's back, sure it is. Guys, you're going to see things advertised for Black Friday that you will not be able to get. The Walmart that told me that they're getting six and five and the different, you know, the four Playstations and all that stuff is going to be a real problem. Could you imagine the people that will start waiting out in line Friday, Saturday. Here, that's a, I don't know if it's a California thing because it's not freezing, but people go and get a tent and get in front of the Best Buy or the, um, uh, the Walmart, for example, and they sit out there and they'll sp spend the week out there to get the one TV, to get the this, to get the Xbox. Imagine if you did that and they didn't have it. So <laughs> I'm not laughing, but I'm like, ha ha, joke's on you. But man, that is awful. This could happen, but according to Staples and Office Max, they don't know if they're getting their Black Friday merchandise right now. The local ones here throughout. So that's what, four in Southern California between those stores that don't know if they're getting their Black Friday merchandise. So guys, let me know what you think about all this because I think it's crazy. 
And I think that, again, people are making changes. It's lifestyle changes. It's, it's everything right now. That's cool. That's great. You know, it, all this stuff has reminded me of co-workers and insane people I've worked with throughout my life and how I've made changes for that. And I wouldn't put up with stuff like that I did 20 years ago. But, you know, not everybody can do this right now. So it's really interesting to see where we're at. And uh, it's nice to see these kids working and cleaning up the beach. These guys behind me, they're just screwing around. I, I, I knew those kids. When I was young, I knew those kids really well. So share your thoughts and all this stuff, guys. For those of you new here, this channel was started uh, because of my business background, running medical device and startup conferences, uh, helping people get funding as a connective marketer, and uh, having a relationship with the SBA. I had them speak at many of my conferences. And uh, in fact, I had the number two guy speak uh, three years ago as the keynote speaker at one of my events. So that being said, uh, the PPP loan program, this was set up to help people with payroll and to keep employees. This thing was utterly abused, okay? Utterly abused. And they, you know, they stood and looked over $800 billion for the PPP loan, which is a tremendous amount. But for example, there's a couple here in California. These two degenerates were convicted of stealing almost $20 million in PPP funding. Uh, Mr. Avazian and his wife, uh, they got convicted. They got sentenced in abstention, which what does that mean? It means that these people fled before their actual sentence. There were three people involved with this. And uh, they he got like 17 years, she got like six years, but they bailed. They left their three teenage kids at home with a typewritten note, sorry, we can't be with you, we'll be with you soon, and fled and left the kids alone, uh, and not they didn't want to face the jail time. So that being said, you're starting to learn more and more, which you will hear tons of stories like this when you have $800 billion that people use. Sharp, there's a, a biomedical waste company, Sharp something out of uh, Houston, $2.2 million. Questionable shenanigans maybe, but these guys doubled the salary of their executives. But here's the thing, they're a public company. They should never have gotten a PPP loan. And the story's below for you guys to read. There's so many situations like that, that people fleeced the system. And again, the PPP program was better than the EIDL program because the EIDL program is run by the incompetent bureaucrats at the SBA who cannot get stuff done. If you need money, get a hold of them now because you'll never get a loan cheaper, but they should never have been given this money. It should have gone to the banks, but the problem with that is that you get people that fleeced the program. So share your thoughts on this stuff, guys. These people are degenerates. The stories are below. Let me know what you guys think. The sun is setting. It's absolutely beautiful. I digress and get sidetracked with the beauty of Southern California every now and then. Share your thoughts, guys. I love the fact that all these financiers are out there. They want to be the one. They're stomping their feet. They want to be the one that's going to call the market drop. The latest, Phil Ackman of uh, Pershing Square. He's the guy that called the uh, bet against the market when the health crisis started and made a billion dollars. And he just great. He has great quotes. Uh, the market is flashing red. The Fed is killing us this is totally irresponsible and this guy is wants to be the guy that says see i told you they want this more than anything the thing that's gonna the most dangerous thing to my hedge fund is inflation for me and for the average american so whether you believe that or not uh david solomon the uh uh ceo uh morgan stanley i love this guy too because he's talking about how just out of touch everything is. And 
everything points to real problems in the marketplace. And again, pick a date, pick a time, <laughs> grow a pair, and sit there and say, this is going down on this date. This is gonna be the thing that does it. I'm telling you, you would be the, the guru of finance for the rest of your life if somebody had the guts to do that. Because what's gonna happen is when it does crash, when the infamous black swan happens, it's gonna be, see, we told you so. If you've only would have listened to us, to what? You guys aren't telling us anything, guys. Tell us what the heck's going on, okay? Pick a day, pick a time, grow a pair. Tell us what's gonna happen. I love Morgan Stanley. I just think that it's crazy because most people don't deal with Morgan Stanley. And, uh, you know, uh, they're divorced from reality. I think that's what's happened. I think that was a saying from last week that stuck in my head, the absolute lunacy of Morgan Stanley. So share your thoughts on this, guys. I wanna know what you guys think about this. Do you have respect for these people? Do you think that they're good business people? What do you think, okay? And again, everything is flashing red. I do believe all that stuff that they're saying. I forgot to add one more thing about the Staples thing from earlier in the video. And that is uh, the person I was with said, hey, I'd like to get a ream of paper. And she walked us over to reams of paper that were $15 a ream. And I'm like, oh my God, that's expensive. Well, you don't want it to jam. This is the best quality recycled paper that we have. I'm like, huh? So take a look at this, guys, because this is $15 reams of paper. And what I like is that people ripped off this place and opened it up and took a few sheets here and there out of them to help themselves, if you notice that in the picture. Now, the worst part of this is that when you go to the front of the store, they've got 599 reams of paper on sale. And but those are better. Those are better, sir, back there. They're better, okay? So I have a great TikTok also to share with you guys where a real estate investor uh, had a house that was valued at 350,000 that they wanted to sell. And they were contacted by the company Open Door, which was the competitor to Zillow in buying houses. The house was worth 350 grand. Uh, Open Door bought the house site unseen for 399,000. Just glue sniffing, idiocy, over pain. Maybe Open Door would buy $15 reams of paper. Um, <laughs> I worked at a company once and I told this story and the woman said, you can't tell the whole story because it's really bad. But the one thing that was funny is this woman used to, she hated working there clearly and she would buy things 20 years ago, $15 reams of paper because it's not my money and I hate these people. Okay. So that being said, so, you know, the other thing is we have a huge drought here in California, Arizona, Nevada, and, uh, they don't want to get the the water from Lake Mead right now, which is a huge problem for the construction industry because they wanna build all these houses out here that nobody can afford, that nobody can buy, and they're gonna build 5,000 more homes. How do you get water rights? How do you get water to these areas if you cannot get water to homes? I mean, it's just gonna be crazy, guys. So please, do not forget to hit the like button. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Share this with all of your friends and colleagues as the tide comes in and I try not to get wet. Um, don't forget, we've got the Weeble promotion that's super cool that you can get a free share of stock. And the cool thing is if you get the share of stock, you can cash out and get the money for it immediately. If you put a penny into the account, they will give you another share of stock and you can buy the wonderful, uh, there's like nine cryptos too if you're into cryptos. So share your thoughts and all this stuff, guys. Onward and upward. I will see you guys very soon, but just a crazy morning, crazy day. And uh, just remember guys, situational awareness, be very safe, uh, be just aware of everywhere you're at, especially shopping, especially involving anything that has to do with money right now. Good luck, I will see you guys very soon.